2023 chapter has come to an end. It is hard to believe, but what a year. I have to say, that was the best real estate crash that I've ever seen. All the so-called experts said 2023 was going to be the year that the real estate market was going to crash, and it didn't happen. So now they just extended their prediction into 2024, which I can tell you with all certainty, that's not going to happen. But let's get into it all. What happened in the 2023 Massachusetts real estate market, and what does this all mean for the 2024 single family, condo, and multifamily real estate markets? Real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb, and I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent, and I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you're planning on buying or selling a home now or in the near future, then it would be a true pleasure to help you. Now, let's jump into it and start with the single family property. We saw 36,248 single family houses sell in Massachusetts for an average sales price of $756,000. It wasn't a pretty year when you look at it from a sales perspective, but the market performed better than my prediction of 3% at this time last year. Yes, I was wrong with my prediction. I said the market was going to go up at a max of 3% in 2023. I own that, but I will also point out that I was closer to being right than almost all of the entire market crashing crowd. Let's start out with the sales. There wasn't one month in 2023 that we exceeded the sales levels that we saw in 2022. Actually, the closest year over year numbers we saw were in November, where sales were off by 9.2%. Now, the 36,248 units sold was 21% less than we sold in 2022 when we sold 45,919 single-family homes. There's no doubt that a housing recession happened in 2023. The housing recession just wasn't in regards to pricing. The recession was in the amount of sales, and this year provided us with the best proof that sales levels and housing prices are not correlated. We saw this phenomenon play out all year. Sales were down and then down some more. As pricing, it just continued to go up and up. And that's because it's inventory levels and pricing that are correlated with one another. Now, the year-over-year -year pricing data was a pretty great thing for all owners throughout the Bay State. I bring up this graph first because I just wanted to point out that pricing trends since June. For the last seven months of 2023, the trend for housing pricing gains was has been going up. And when you look at the longer term picture, it really gives you a better idea as to what's happened and most likely is going to happen as we move forward into 2024. It looks like that May of 2023 is going to be our low point. We had sales levels gains trending down for pretty much all of 2022 as that great shock was being absorbed by the housing market. Again, the important part is that this is the trend that we will start with as we begin 2024. This is not what you want to see if you're one of the people praying for housing prices to go down. And here is a look at year-over-year -year housing prices in Massachusetts since 2007. When you look at the long-term view of the housing prices, then you really begin to realize how the 2023 price gain of 4.8% is extremely respectable. And by the way, this is what we want. The 15% yearly gains are not sustainable. We need more years of this sustainable growth to allow the broader economy and wages to catch up. But personally, I don't necessarily see that happening. Let's continue to dig into this data and look at the yearly sales comparison. Again, it wasn't pretty, but the 36,000 units was not our worst year of my lifetime. Heck, it wasn't even the worst year of my nieces or nephews' lifetimes. The sales levels in 2023 ended up beating out the sales levels that we saw in 2010 as well as 2011. This was a resilient market, but here is my worry as we start writing the 2024 chapter. There's a good amount of pent-up demand out there. People waited on the sidelines because they were hopeful that home prices were going to go down. They waited on the sidelines hopeful that mortgage rates were going to go down. And we are already seeing a little surge of buyer activity now that mortgage rates have started to go down. And the Fed has indicated that they're going to go down some more. It's a recipe for a brutal buyer's market in 2024. Here's another prediction I was wrong about. I really thought we would see some year-over-year -year sales level increases towards the end of the year, and we didn't. We have now had 30 consecutive months of year-over-year -year sales declines. We're closing in on three years of sales declines month after month. This cycle, it's going to break in 2024. As we said earlier, it's prices and inventory levels that are correlated. 
and inventory levels remained stubbornly low. We ended the year with over six times fewer homes on the market than we did in 2011. To visually put this in perspective, as you drive around, imagine for every one for sale sign that you see, then that you would also see three more sale signs on each side of the house. That's how low inventory is right now. and has been for essentially the last four years. And that's not going to change in 2024. There's no inventory relief coming. Foreclosures are still below pre-pandemic levels. Builders aren't building enough supply to keep up with demand. And even if they were willing, there isn't exactly a ton of land laying around on the eastern side of Massachusetts. And that's before we even begin discussing all the red tape that it takes to get these properties built. Yes, these low inventory levels are going to continue. They may go up a little bit here and there, but nothing that would be substantial to cause prices to go down. Just what we predicted, inventory levels ended the year pretty much right in between the levels of 2021 and 2022. Inventory, it's going to remain low until around the end of February. At that point, we're going to start to see some yearly spring inventory built. As you can very well see, the inventory flows are a predictable trend. Why is this so important? Well, you can see where we are starting in 2024. It's the little blue dot to the left of the chart. It's true that we're not starting the year with the lowest inventory levels in history. We're starting the year with the second lowest levels of inventory in history. Now, add in the pent-up demand plus a lowering rate environment and, well, get ready. If you're a seller, then get ready to pop that champagne. If you're a buyer, then you may need to schedule a couple extra sessions with your therapist. But as the beginning of 2024, we have 367 fewer hounds on the market than the beginning of 2023 and 740 more than in the beginning of 2022. Real quick, so we can see how the year ended and see the magical trend held true, except for the October outlier, that is. But what to expect in 2024 is pricing levels to ramp up through the spring months and peak in June, and then with the average price pulling back in the fall months of 2024. Now, we have the condo market as well as the multifamily market coming up next. But first, any chance that you can just do me a huge favor as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Can you hit that like button right down there? It just makes a huge difference to me as well as my channel. And while subscribing, that one doesn't hurt either. So please consider subscribing. We saw 16,583 condo sell in Massachusetts for 2023 with an average sales price of $687,000. It was a great year in the condo market. It actually performed better than the single family market. Let's start with the sales data. Our sales levels ended up being off of the sales levels of 2022 by 11.5%. And, and this graph really helps illustrate why this number was lower than the single family data. We really closed the gap towards the end of the year. But like the single family market, there was not one month where we sold more houses than the year prior. The closest we ever got was in October of 2023 when we sold 5.2% per fewer condos than in October of 2022. And it really wasn't an awful year in the sales world for condos. It, it wasn't a hallmark year either, but it was respectable. Our sales levels were slightly below the levels we saw in 2012 and a pretty good leap above the levels that we saw in 2011. As we have already said, pricing and inventory levels are correlated, and we ended 2023 with the second lowest inventory levels in history in the condo market. But as I said moments ago, our sales were close to being on pace with the sales levels of 2012. And this means that we now have two and a half times fewer amount of condos on the market in the same time that we saw similar sales levels, which was back in 2012. Now, when comparing starts to the new year, we currently have 97 fewer condos on the market than in 2023 and 142 more condos on the market than in 2022. Just like in the single family market, this is great news for folks who are selling condos in 2024. And we ended 2023 strong. It was a little weird of a year for pricing, especially with the July outlier, but I expect more of the same as we head into 2024. It's been a pretty great one for condo prices in the state of Massachusetts. This year, we saw a 7.1% year-over-year increase in pricing. And look at this year-over-year -year pricing trend that we end 2023 with and go into 2024 with. It was a pretty amazing last six months of 2023. This will continue as we head into 2024. And what's crazy is that in the first six months, the average sales price for a condo in Massachusetts was up 2.5%. Then the last six months kicked in, 
and that propelled the average sales price being up by 7.1% year over year. Now, I thought we would see pricing growth in the condo segment in 2023, but I did not expect it being this strong. And now for my very quick and shameless plug, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, then please reach out as it would be a true honor to help and guide you throughout the process. Now, R to the multifamily market. What a crazy year. I thought that if sales prices were going to go down, then this was going to be the market that it would happen in. I was wrong. Again, I knew it was inventory levels and prices that were correlated. I just didn't think I realized how big that correlation is. In 2023, there was 5,108 multifamily units that sold for an average sales price of $742,000. Like the other segments, there was not one month where we sold more multifamily properties than we did for the corresponding months in 2022. But the levels were improving. As we closed out the end of the year, December only sold 6.9% fewer properties than it did in December of 2022. That's pretty impressive, considering the worst year-over-year year year sales data was in February, when we sold 41.4% fewer houses than in February 2022. So what am I taking away from this data as we head into 2024? The multifamily market, it's getting better. This was pretty ugly when you consider the year-over-year drop, but when you put it all in perspective of yearly data, yes, it was the worst year in recent history, but it was neck and neck with 2011, and we knew this market was going to take a beating. It made sense. It got harder and harder to make the numbers work with the jump in interest rates. Rents, they weren't going up fast enough to support the higher increase in borrowing costs. And investors, they don't buy property to lose money on the carry each month. It was ugly. But I really do feel like it, quite frankly, could have been worse. Now, let's take a look at the inventory levels real quick. As we said, sales are low. 2011 level low. But inventory is very low and a lot lower than in 2011. This is why we did not see a multifamily pricing correction. Inventory is 4.4 times lower than it was at the end of 2011. Think about it for just a quick second. There are only 515 multifamily properties for sale in the entire state of Massachusetts as we begin 2024. This was such a crazy year in this market with the jacked up interest rates and the enormous year-over-year -year sales declines at the pricing so-called trend. It was just all over the place. I believe we will see some normalcy come back to this market segment as we head into 2024. Now, I'm looking for trends to get a glimpse as to what to expect as we head into 2024. And I've seen good things for 2024 when I look at this year-over-year -year pricing chart for 2023. It's been a pretty strong four months for year-over-year -year pricing. In the first five months, prices were down four out of those five months. And then in the last seven months, prices were up six out of the seven. And with September and October notching some pretty sizable gains, like I said, I really do think this means good things are to come in the multifamily market in the state of Massachusetts. It's been a good run for multifamily property owners in the state of Massachusetts. The multifamily market got hit the hardest out of all the market segments. They were most likely to see pricing declines as this is where the big run in financing would have the biggest impact. But this market took the punches with stride and is getting ready to do some, well, of its own punching in 2024. It was a tough year for market bears. People who sat on the sidelines lost more pricing power as the market did what most did not expect. But housing and recessions are not correlated as we only saw housing prices go down two out of the last five recessions. And we know what happened in 2008, but the other time was 1.9% decrease in housing prices in 1991. We also knew that it, in the last high inflationary period, housing prices went up every year. History, it's looking to repeat itself. So what do we have in store for us in 2024? We have pent-up demand. We have a declining interest rate environment. And we have a market that has low inventory in every housing segment. Be on the lookout for my 2024 market predictions video. It's coming out soon. And let me know if you have any questions you can drop me a line in that comment section below, or I invite you to reach out as all my uh, contact information is in the description below as well. And as always, I truly appreciate you keeping me in mind. Should you or anyone you know be thinking about buying or selling a home in 2024? Until next time.